Okay, here, here's a classic example of what I learned and how I'm using the set and go trapper. This is, this is a big deal here. Now this little stream goes for a long ways. There's all kinds of trappers that trap on it. It's kind of cool. It goes underneath this little bridge and it goes up over, over the road up there. And it's, it's hard for it to freeze. It's got to get pretty cold. Now last year in a set and go, I caught, I don't know, three or four rats, maybe five. It's not a very big spot. And there's trappers all up and down this pretty little crystal clear stream. It's just not real ratty, you know. But I caught a, I caught a nice mink here last year. Now it's November uh, 16th, 17th, whatever. The leaves are just now done, are almost done, falling off the trees. And the temptation would be, well, I'm going to try to catch rats. So they're blocked off really good right there. And believe me, I know this because I do it. I've done it. And that's about, oh, I don't know, foot and a half deep. Now, foot deep would be either put a colony trap there or, you know, it's got them narrowed down so they come through there. Well, even as cool as the set and go is, it'll get plugged up if there's a ton of debris in the water. And when I came down here to set these traps, originally there was leaves, it was unbelievable. Well, it occurred to me that any rat coming out of that current or coming down would immediately get up against this right here to get out of it. And if they were swimming from underneath and coming this way, they would try to hug this and come around it. Well, that's what's happened. And the second day in a row, I've caught a rat where most guys wouldn't have set a trap. And I'm going to do my best to show you what I got here. So bear with me. I'm filming by myself, which is mostly how I trap, which it's got real good points to it and it's got bad points to it. But, uh, Trying to get my glove on here, so bear with me. I want to show you this because this is a big deal. Right here's my rat. He's attached to that set and go. And that's a nice big rat. And that set and go watch my boot fits right up there right under there and that's the second day in a row I've had a nice rat right there set and go works guys no stake this rat couldn't pull that platform nowheres he was right dead and he's a nice rat, nice big, nice big rat for a bank rat living in a little creek. No stake, nothing to get tangled onto, nobody. The roads, right there, nobody can know that I've got that trap set underneath that right there. And boy, don't be surprised if we don't catch a mink. Just a matter of time. I'm not seeing a ton of mink sign at any of these little cricks that I'm at. But just don't be surprised. But that's how deadly set and go is. And when we learn how to use these different techniques, we become better trappers. Okay, I'm going to set it back.